All right, so let's take a look at the ES2 synthesizer. I've already instantiated the software instrument. So let's see, or let's listen to what it sounds like with the default settings. Sounds pretty complex. So what I'm gonna do is click over here under tutorial settings, select analog saw in it. So now we're gonna hear a much simpler sound is basically just a normal sawtooth waveform. I'm also going to click here to disable any of this modulation. So we have a clean sound. All right, now let's take a look at the oscillator section over here. ES2 has three oscillators. You can see they're numbered one, two, and three. You can turn on and turn off each oscillator by clicking on the number. This over here is the triangular mixer. So if I want to hear a specific oscillator, I can just move this little dot to that particular corner. Or I can keep in the middle to have a mix of all three. But of course they need to be on in order to be heard. If all three are off, I'm playing some notes but we don't hear anything irrespective of where this dot is. All right, I'll set this back to 100% oscillator number one. Now, other than selecting the different wave tables over here, there's also a register control for each oscillator. So I can change the octave. So yeah, the range is from minus 36 all the way up to a plus 36. So you can actually create chords. So if I turn on all these oscillators, put in the center, the triangular mix to the center. I'll set this to plus seven and I'll set this one to plus 12. So you can do stuff like that. All right, now let's look at the different wavetables that are available in each oscillator. You already heard the sawtooth. That's the triangle, sine, now, if you right click on the sign or control click on the sign, you can actually select from these different wavetables. And they are a lot more complex than your basic sign, sawtooth, square, etc. Alright, so those are the different wavetables. Now, if I over here we have frequency modulation as well. ES2 is essentially a subtractive synthesizer but it does have this frequency modulation capability built right in. Now in FM synthesis we can't just we can't just work with one oscillator. We need a carrier but we also need another oscillator for the modulator. So that oscillator comes from oscillator number two. Now we're not listening to oscillator number two as you can tell this little dot is all the way on the top over here to 100%. But when I play a note, I'll actually set this to a sine wave. I play a note and click and drag over here. So this is your FM index control. Or you can think of it as your FM depth control. So that's pretty cool that there's frequency modulation synthesis built right into ES2. Okay, now let's look at the different wavetables in oscillator number two. Now I can right click on the sign over here as well and access those different wavetables. There's ring modulation. Now ring modulation is not going to work by itself because ring modulation is basically amplitude modulation. So it needs another oscillator, just like in FM synthesis, and that other oscillator is actually oscillator one. So when I, when I turn that on, you're hearing ring modulation. Let me set this to like a simple sine wave.
So we're not hearing oscillator one, but you can hear how changing its octave actually affects oscillator two as it's being ring modulated. Now we also have sync. So I can set a square wave over here and it is now synced again to oscillator number one. Sounds the same, but if I change the octave over here, kind of sounds like pulse width modulation. And when you're in sync mode, you'll notice that changing the register of this oscillator is not actually going to change the register. It, it mainly kind of changes the timbre. I can change that from, from a square to a sawtooth waveform. And the same thing happens. Cool. Now, over here, there are a few more different things. Uh, well, actually just one more different thing. Just like you had FM in the first oscillator, here we have a square wave, which can be pulse width modulated. So you should notice how similar that was to the sync mode. Okay, so that was oscillator two. Now heading over to oscillator three. Turn it on. We have pretty much all the same features, except that there's also a noise wavetable. You have the sync options here as well. Okay, so those are the different wavetables that are available in the three oscillators inside ES2.